Hi, Jamie here from The Hedge Teacher. Today we're going to look at the question of how do I build my financial intelligence? Those of you who have visited my website thehedgeteacher.com will know my story and why I began this journey. I was one of the 99% of what we call lazy investors. Putting the money into an investment and leaving it for someone else to look after. And what happened? I lost most of it. The problem is that most of us have had no financial education at all. At school there is nothing or nobody teaching us about money. What it is, how it works, or the best way for us to utilize it. We are still taught in the industrial age education method for people to learn to work in factories, the education of the 1920s. They preach of going to school, studying hard, getting good grades, get a job, J-O-B, just off broke, and retire on 40% of your pay packet. Those days are gone. There is no job security. There's no retirement package. And how long will your pension last you? Not as long as you are going to be living. That is for sure. 90% of retirees in the US hope they will die before their pensions finish. And it's not just there. It is in every so-called westernized, civilized country. In Australia, right now, retirees are running out of money, their pensions, 13 years before they die. If you want a wake-up call, check out your country's debt clock. Type in your country's name, and then debt clock. US debt clock, English debt clock, Canadian debt clock. We all have them. And see the numbers, do the basic equations, and see the debt owed by every person in your country. This is a basis of our finances. And remember, this is fiat currency. It is backed by nothing more than the amount and frequency we all spend to keep this current, like electricity, going. We have to make the time and educate ourselves. Bank managers don't give a damn about your school reports. They want to know if you can read a financial report that you can create cash flow. That is part of the key to your success. Those with a financial education know what questions to ask and what to look for. You are then able to discern with people you are listening to if they have a financially educated or uneducated mentality. Whether he or she understands how the rich think about money and their finance. The understanding part of the education process is to also surround ourselves with top team members like a, a good accountant and a lawyer, real estate, a mobile area, and or coach who will help us along the way. We can't know everything about all areas to do with finance, but we can start to learn and get a better understanding of what is going on around us and how this is going to affect us in the future. Make a financial plan, even a basic one, and you will be better off than 99% of the population and on your way to achieving financial freedom. When this is done, revisit it and revise it on a regular basis. You'll find that is an organic organism. It is something that will change, develop and grow as you do. As you continue to educate yourself and get more experience in all areas of finance and investing, you will find you can accomplish more and achieve more. And then be able to attain your dreams, the ones that you so much desire. This is a living, breathing document that you will evolve as much as you do in the years to come. This is your time to invest in you. As Robert, Kiyo, uh, Robert Kiyosaki says from Rich Dad Poor Dad, there are three sides to a coin. The third is the ring around the outside. This is your financial education side. You have to do this now. No one else will do this for you. It is time to build your financial intelligence now.
as the weeks go by, I'm going to be sharing with you a heck of a lot more in all these areas and more. So please don't keep this a secret. Like, share, subscribe and share this with your friends and families. We have to hedge our own future to look after ourselves and then be able to help and teach others. Until next time, in wealth and wellness, this is Jamie at The Hedge Teacher.